Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my garage. I've just done seven little short bike videos I'm going to release. This is one I was pondering whether to do or not. It is. How to make a good cup of tea? No. I felt a bit odd answering that. I'm hardly famous on YouTube. 6,000 subscribers doesn't rate some of the big guys who get a lot of money. I get minimal money, but I just enjoy it if I'm honest with you. Um, my suggestions and a warning I guess as well fame on YouTube be yourself find a topic that you enjoy chatting about make sure you enjoy chatting check enjoy the subject motorbikes what couldn't you like about motorbikes two checks revise get your topic and know a little bit about what you're doing mostly check I do get the wrong information occasionally um, horsepower, stats and so on, it, it, it's all in there. Some people write it all down and read from Auto Cue. For me, it's all in here and it doesn't always come out as it should, but I just do it the best I can. i got a guy, Matt, who often comments on my videos who says, uh, Mark, he, uh, you don't need you know, really expensive cameras and sound equipment and uh, wealth of people around you doing it. It'd be nice, I guess, to have a real good pucker, you know, film as it were, rather than my little short bike videos and the other little videos I do. But you don't necessarily need it. It can be just a guy with a camera in a shed, garage, or on a bike doing vlogs. Warning, the bad points of YouTube. Bad bits, Facebook. The reason why I don't answer Facebook, I've been fraped, my, um, my profile taken over, um, copied and so on, it's not nice. Um, I certainly what happened to me last time someone took over my profile wasn't very nice at all, and say being copied as well. So that's the bad bit. YouTube itself, I've had my um, videos copied and people putting them on their own channels. I mean, I like to say like, share, and subscribe. I don't say steal my videos and try and get money from them that way and pretend they're yours. It's happened to me a few times. Stalked, yeah, I've been stalked. Uh, quite a few times actually um, and it's not very nice people trying to find out where you are what you do um, but you're on the world wide web and that's something you've got to remember um, I've had people send me their telephone numbers asking questions I say you shouldn't do that people from all around the world can see do you know so you've got to be careful do you know what I'm trying to say one minute I am doing a video <laughs> um, right, you're live on video. This is someone who keeps ringing me. Now I'm stalked now. Go on. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, uh, we were wondering if maybe, possibly, pretty please, we could come to yours now and steal your van. See, fame, people steal things. Yes, you can. That's fine. Thank you. Cause... The van's there. It's got a um, good half a tank. It will get you there. You need to put some more in it on the way back, though. All right. No worries. All right. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye bye. And when you're famous, people want things from you as well. And I've lost where I'm supposed to be now. <laughs> where was that? The bad things, huh? Um, yeah, the bad things. Um, oh, that's just totally throwing me. That is um, getting stalked, profile taken over. Um, yeah. On the stalking bit, yeah, I had a guy contact me. I was selling an item and he watched my videos and he was supposed to be all really pally and everything else and come man my and all this stuff and end up losing money because I believed him and it was just a con. So there's the bad things, you know. You, you, and there's more bad things, but I'm not going to keep going into it. Are you ever going to become multi-worldwide millionaire? People do, but it's like win the lottery, isn't it? You know, I don't do this for the fame. Don't get in anyway. Just get people borrowing things from me. Um, do do it for the tea. I just do it because I enjoy sharing my information that I gather. Um, I like helping people in the sense of with the pegs, you know. The reason he started that because I had four bikes in my garden for my kids. I've got four kids and they were bringing them back, Dad, it's broke, and I was bringing up to the garage, it's 300 pound, I think it's getting silly. So I liked, that's how I started off. Obviously servicing on big bikes and knowledge, like here we have a Pan ST1300. 
And these are big, lovely, big bikes. Some things you wonder, like, where do they all go? And with this one, you have to take this panel off, pull this panel out, and the oil's under here. Otherwise, you're just wondering where it is. The back seat, how does it come off? All the GSX-Rs, there's two bolts at the front of the seat. You have to undo them, because otherwise you're looking for, like on this bike, the Kawasaki Versus, there's the key to go in. So you know bolts and keys. So you're looking at this thinking, well, I can't see any keyhole, so here's a keyhole for that does here. So you get your key, yes, this is the one I extended, and you pop it in here like this, and you undo that, and you think, can't find nothing, but it gets this off. You go over here, you do the same thing, and you start looking at the back of the bike, and you take the panels off, and you're looking everywhere. Then you start pulling it and thinking, is this it here? And you carry on and on and on and on. You read the manual, because that's what... Then you go and read the manual, you think, got it, and it says it's in this little bit and take it off, and you think, I, I don't get it. And the manual for this, I've got to say, is really crap. I mean, when I first read about the Earl, it looked like it was under the seat. And I'm thinking, that's where it is, and turned out to be on that panel. Well, you didn't see, and I just showed you, because you go round it, I just showed you how to get the seat off. Go back to here. You ready? There. Let me really show you that big. That is how to get the seat off. You just push that down and lift it up. But there's no, there's just nothing there to tell you that you just push that forward. And that's how you get the bloody seat up. So I like to share that with you. I could do a video on it, hopefully someone will watch it and me babbling on and hopefully see that's how to do it, okay? But it's helpful advice like that that people watch. They type in how to get your seat up on the pan. I'm not going to get it on this video, it's chatting. So I will do a video on how to do this as well. Anyway, I'm babbling. There you go. I thought I just, it's not even a short bike video now, is it? I'm going to have to cut loads out and I'm up nine minutes already. But yeah, editing next, get a good bit of editing software. My early videos, I have to say, were a bit pants. Not the content, I was videoing on iPhone 5, then I went to a 6. Um, the software I got off the internet, you know, as an app, and that wasn't that brilliant, you, you know, you couldn't start and stop and cut things. I eventually gone to Adobe Premiere, um, and I don't quite get all of that. I now can up and down the volume, I'm getting good at editing little bits, and one minute I'm here, the next minute I'm gone, then like magic, I'm back again. And then I've got a cup of tea. But that's basic editing, and that's where I am, very basic. Right, there you go. There's my YouTube fame. Um, I'd like loads and loads of subscribers. I have got about 1.8 million views with 400 odd videos. The content, I suppose, that's the main, main thing you've got to say. You've got to connect with your fan base, your watchers, your subbies. I don't know what to call you guys, but girls um remy on wheels she's a great girl in america i watch all her videos on pets and she watches most of mine i think um she's a great girl um yeah make friends you know it's not like facebook which i don't answer anyway enough take care of yourselves on the road thank you so much and i do appreciate all of my subscribers I lose subscribers and gain a few here and there, and I always wonder why I lose my subscribers, maybe because I'm rubbish. I don't understand bad clicks. A lot of people do that as well, and I think, what is wrong with my video? I'm guessing I wouldn't mind if someone says, I don't like your video because you're crap, because you're ginger, because I like your beard. Why, what am I doing wrong, and I could try and get it better. And now other times, people just don't like you, don't want to watch you, and don't understand you because you're not in their language. Hey. That's the way it is. Right, I've now finished. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep with me. I'll keep making them. Take care of yourselves, and I'll keep making a cup of tea. should do a video on how to make a cup of tea, shouldn't I? Properly, here in England. Job done.